Right guys, so now we've got the Fly Z Plus. So these now are going to be suited more to the market to kind of the mid handicap. I'm going to get Rob to test these on his own for a separate video. So I'm going to do the five, the seven and the nine in this video. So I think it's more of a suited handicap range for kind of mid to slightly more lower handicap. They're kind of a more of a, of a, a combo set. They don't go into a massive blade. They've got the pros for that, but it's a, it's definitely a smaller head shaped than the, just a the fly Z. The Fly Z Plus aimed for the kind of slightly better player. The bits of technology behind it, I'm going to grab the 7 iron first because I'm going to hit this first. Is It's a forged head, so it's going to be a soft metal, I feel, off the face. But it's got some tunched and weighting in the toe and the heel so that off centre hits, the club face doesn't twist as much. Now, it looks very classic and very slim, very, very, the profile is quite shallow, which is good. I like that for an iron. Yet the face doesn't look small. I've just got this in a normal KBS stiff flex, stiff plus flex actually. Um, very, what I love about the head shape of this, it, it looks, I've not done a lot of testing with Cobra, so I couldn't test it against other clubs in the past, so I'm not quite sure what the looks of those were, but it has a very defined, uh, very defined lines to it, so it looks very classic. Well, as soon as I set it up behind, Ricky Fowler and Orange doesn't scream out at me with this iron. It's a much more classic look, which I think is a great little positive point of it. It's got a tiny bit of yellow detail at the back. It's got, it looks like it's quite a bit of padding along the bottom edge as well. So a nice forgiving iron. Um, but again, probably for the looks wise, it, it looks discreet. So I've got this in seven iron. I'm going to hit some sevens, some fives and some nines. Give you some feedback on what the shot feels like. Oh, a diff completely different noise to the Fly Z's that I've hit so far in the past. Felt really nice. And I would say a 7 normally for me would be about 168 to 170 carry. Carry that 172. So it gives you some indication of how far that club's travelling. Felt nice off the face. I've slightly pushed it, but that's more my fault than the club. But just felt really, really nice off the face. A, quite a, a, a quieter brother. The, the quiet brother compared to the Fly Z which is the loud, boisterous one. Looking forward to testing the pros as well, which is the, the kind of bladed version. Um, let's hit another one. Yeah, lovely. Now, I didn't strike that one absolutely the best ever. So let's see how that performs on forgiveness side of things. It's still got, it's got actually gone further. And that, I promise you, that wasn't hit anywhere near as middle. That was a little bit more towards the toe and it carried 176. That was a bit of weightings towards toe and heel, they are visible technology. So that what a lot of manufacturers are doing now, they're putting visible technology on the head so that you can actually see what's been happening. A lot of sometimes this has been hidden in the past. So they've exposed it and said, okay, well, there's the weighting. And I think it builds a lot of confidence. If you're a club, a golfer that doesn't hit the middle as often as you'd like, <laughs> for me, it feels like, well, okay, it's okay. You can miss the middle if you want to because there's a bit of, bit of help there behind the ball, which is great. It's reassuring almost. Let's hit one more with a seven. Lovely sound. That's the big thing that stands out towards me, whether it's just because I've only just hit the Fly Z, which was... This just feels really nice. Really nice sound on the face. One seven nine is a good, very good distances, actually. For a seven, really good distances. Let's move over to the five. No, that's the nine. Let's move over to the five just to see how the longer irons do perform. Um, what, I, what I do like about this range is that the design of the club doesn't really change from the long irons down to the short irons. So it doesn't really taper off that much. It looks, if I was looking from that point now, I don't know if that's a, obviously I do from the loft, whether it is a five iron or whether it is a nine iron, the design on the back of the head looks very similar. It's obviously got the weighting still in the toe and the heel. Let's see how the five performs. So really, I would probably expect maybe just over the 200 mark carry. Let's see how it gets on. I just love that sound. It's the real thing that stands out to me there. Is it up there? Yeah, 200 on the nose. Felt, felt really nice. So you could see from the Fly Z that I tested a minute ago, I was hitting six that far. But it's, that's what it's aimed for. It was a big, chunky iron. It's going to hit the ball further. This is more of a slim looking iron. So it might not hit it. Well, it won't hit it quite as far. What a flight. What a flight. You know what? I could easily, easily play with these clubs. 
comfortably because I, I just think they've got such a, a nice feel off the face with it being forged and they sound just amazing and they're performing they really are performing let's go one more with the five and then we'll hit some nines as well hit all those really nice with the five so they're not even though they have got a bit of blade to them they're not ridiculously hard to hit not at all 198 so the last three shots there was 196 197 197 so the front to back dispersion is fantastic with a long iron as well which looks the part it really does right it's gone nine uh which one was it now is this one yep so again that com completely same design goes all the way down into the nine it's the same look at the back of the head weights front and uh, toe and heel it's not gonna it's, it's not changing that's what i like about it you don't feel like, oh, I can't hit that four iron because it's a different design. They're all the same designs all the way through the set, which is great. Let's hit some nine. So I would say around about the 150 carry. Very nice. Let's see, about, I reckon about 150 carry. 147. But, you know, it's not for the, the distance with the nine. It's the feel that you get off the face, the feedback that you get back from this club has a very strong positive feedback you know if you've not hit it well but yet you're not getting absolutely punished if you don't hit it well whether that weighting is doing something but it's the the feel the feel and the sound i keep going across those two points with this club the feel and the sound really do complement each other so so well i know feel is attached to you know sound and everything else you've you've got those things that are factors in there the Cobra Fly Z Plus irons. I've hit the five of it, the seven of it, the nine. They are top, top clubs. Clubs that will sit you right in the market if you're a mid handicapper wanting to get lower scores, wanting to improve your score. You know, that these, this is the kind of iron that you should be looking for. If you are a, I don't know, if you're a higher handicapper and you want distance, like my tester, Rob Potter, get on those Fly Zs because they'll hit you a long way. The Fly Z Plus look more classic, feel phenomenal. I'm gonna get Robin them next to give me some testing with them as well. So we'll see how far the 7-9 goes. And then I'm gonna battle against the Cobra Fly Z Pros, the bladed version. I say battle because I've looked at them, they're incredibly bladed. Guys, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. The Cobra Fly Z Plus irons, right up there on quality feel and, and even the forgiveness side of things as well. Do comment down below, let me know what you think. Subscribe by clicking the link down below and I shall see you next time with either Rob or with myself doing the Fly Z Pro Irons. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.